to my amazing, new and returning viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to Tammy's Syncraft Studios. I appreciate all of you, and thank you for putting up with me. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and turn on the bell icon, so that you can be notified whenever I upload other videos. Be blessed. Wow! My 25th birthday is in a few days, and I do not even have any special person in my life. All I do is go to work, church and home. That is my life. I am telling you. God I am trusting you. I know that you will be sending my husband this year, in Jesus' name Amen. Madison. Madison. Adam again. What does he want now? Adam. What do you want again? I just wanted to walk with you to the bus stop, and to make sure you are safe. Well that is not necessary. Haven't I warned you to stop coming around to see me? I know. You said that, but I cannot seem to stay away. Well you need to stop. Can't you see that we are not in the same class, and we do not have anything in common? Do I look like an experiment to you? But why am I not in your class, Madison? Is it because I am not wealthy and my education is basic? Is that why? This is not the end of my life. One day I will become somebody too. Besides, money is not everything. You just said that. Money is everything. As you are now, can you even afford my basic necessities? Can you even afford to feed yourself? Check out how I am looking. Will you be able to maintain all of this? Plus, wherever I go, my mother goes to. I might not be able to afford everything, but I am willing to try. Please Madison, give me a chance in your life. Stop it, Adam. I have told you this several times, that what you are asking for cannot, and will not work. I am not interested, we are not of the same class, and you need to stop coming around me. It is not fair that you think so low of me, but nothing is ever going to change the way I feel about you. I am going to keep trying Madison. Stop wasting your smelly breath, and get lost. Go away, I am not interested. Why is she so mean to me? I have tried everything possible to get to her, but she refuses me every time. I know that I am poor now, but I have ambition, and I am working towards improving my life. Why can't she be patient, and give me a chance to prove to her that I am worth it? Why? And I am so in love with her, I want to make her my wife, the woman who bears my children. But I am not giving up now. In today's news, the latest on gas prices indicates that while the national average in the country is around $3.10 per gallon, some districts continue to experience significantly higher prices at $4.49 per gallon. The recent economic data from Data Hub indicates a negative trend with the economy showing a 10% decline and increasing rates of unemployment. Crime continues to put a dent in the government's coffers as billions of dollars will be spent on the country's crime-fighting plan and other initiatives. Please stay tuned for more updates in subsequent newscasts. Good evening, Mommy. Evening, Madison. I saw you and that wretched boy again this morning. Mommy, can't you allow me to come home and rest before all the drama starts? You call it drama. But I am calling it proactiveness. Do you think I want you to end up like me? Look at the state of the country, gas prices are high, the economy is bad, and we cannot sleep peacefully at nights, with all the crime around us. I will never sit by and watch you stoop so low. But nothing is going on between us. He has been asking me to be his girlfriend, but I chase him away each time. But am I not old enough to choose for myself? I know who is good for me, and who is not mommy. Nothing is happening between Adam and me. Do not lie to me Madison. I saw both of you, talking and laughing. He has no money. In fact whenever I see him, 
I am going to warn him myself. Mommy, can I please come in and rest? Is there any food? Yes. Let me get it for you. But we need more money in this house, because I do not want to die in poverty. Is that all you are worried about? Shouldn't you be praying for me? Pray. Mrs. Adam Mother Mommy Adina To what do I owe this early morning visit? Do you wish to come inside? What is all this for? I am here to show you how serious I am and for you and your poverty-stricken son to stay away from my daughter. He is not the kind of man that I want for my child. Your son is a poor man whose future and destiny stops right in this community. Unless I do not serve a true and living God, my son will move beyond this small community, and he will shock all of you who had mocked him. Is it fair? You are a mother like me. Would you like another person mistreating your child? I do not care. All I am asking you to do is to warn your son. Tell him to leave my daughter alone so that a rich man can marry her. He is poor and has nothing to offer her. I will talk with my son, and I promise that he will never disturb her again. My mother, my pain. She has literally driven away all the men who have come to marry me, claiming that they are not wealthy enough. Adam is not exactly a bad guy, and I believe that he will make it someday, but my mother will never allow it. It is like she wants to relive her life through me. At my age, I should be preparing myself for marriage, but my mom cannot be satisfied. Adam, thank God that your father and I were able to put this money together to send you away. Use it wisely, and invest it into a profitable business, and I believe that God will reward you. Yes, mom. As you go, show kindness to everyone, and always remember to pray. Thank you, mom. I am sorry for everything. I just wanted Madison to know how much I truly love her. Well, she doesn't love you, and even if she does, her mother doesn't think you are good enough. Besides, the mother is already searching for a partner for her. So please erase her from your mind and heart. Let me pray for you, and add my blessings on top of your father's own. Father Lord, I am giving my son over to you. Please guide his footsteps, help him to remain faithful to you always. Bless his hands in hard work, so that whatever he touches, will turn to gold. It saddens my heart to see him go, but First John 4 reminds me that I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Help my son to walk in truth, and restore all that he has lost. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. What is the time, Madison? It is almost 6 p.m. Haven't I warned you about this? How many times do I have to remind you that I must not get home before you? I am sorry, it was not intentional. I was asked to complete the project I was working on before I left for home, so I worked late. Work late? At the expense of your home and husband? I am going to teach you never to disobey me. Nicholas. Please, not again. Madison. Madison, get up. I think I have done the worst this time. Madison, honey, I am sorry. Please say something. I do not know what came over me. Please pull through this and they promise never to lay a hand on you again. Madison. Nicholas, now that your wife is conscious, we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. What happened to your wife? I had a major fall, Doctor, while I was taking the clothes to the laundry room. Interesting. That must have been a mighty fall, Mrs. Jameson. Yes, Doctor. It is the truth. Sir. 
I wanted to look into your eyes when I say this, but since you have refused to remove your glasses, I am going to proceed. Your wife has lost another pregnancy, and this time, the injuries were so severe, that she may not be able to conceive again. <laughs> Her blood work reveals that she has contracted an infection which we have started to treat. STI doctor? I am afraid so Mrs. Jameson. So you have been cheating on me Nicholas? What have I gotten myself into? Did my mother sell me to the devil? Honey, please let us talk about this when we get home. I blame my mother for this. Nicholas, you are free to take her home, but be advised that if something like this happens again, you leave me with no choice, but to report the case to the authorities. And Madison, please do not forget to come in, as prescribed for your treatment. That infection must be cleared. It was a long drive home for Nicholas and Madison. Neither of them said a word to each other, because what the doctor revealed, was explosive and a lot more than what Madison bargained for. Mommy, are you happy now? You have literally sold me to the devil, all for your selfish gain. Ever since I married Nicholas, I have not known peace. He beats me every chance he gets, and he is a chronic womanizer. Why are you sounding like that? It was just a little quarrel that you guys had. A little misunderstanding. A misunderstanding that landed me into the hospital again, but unconscious this time. To make matters worse, he gave me an infection and I lost another pregnancy. What more mommy? You chased Adam away, claiming he was too poor, but look at him now, very comfortable. You made me to believe that money was all, and now I am paying the price. I am leaving him mom. Madison, do not even think about leaving your husband, because he is the reason I am living the life I have always wanted. Living the life at my expense mother. Do not worry, I promise that I will have a talk with him. Everything will be fine, just hold on a bit longer. Also, I will be inviting our pastor over, to have a talk with you guys. That is all mom. Pastor is only going to tell me the same thing, that he will change. I have got to go now. I have some items to collect from the mall. What kind of a mother are you? You know that I am sick, and lonely here, and you cannot stay to care for me. I will come back by the weekend. I promise. Madison thinks I am going to allow her to leave Nicholas. Especially now that I am living the life that I have always wanted. Anyway, I will get her to calm down. She will listen to me. After all, I am her mother. So what about your wife? What about her? I never loved her. I only got married to her to please my parents. And because her mother loves money so much, she did everything to get me to marry her daughter. But she is innocent. Yes, I am sharing her husband, but I can see that she is a good lady. I guess, but she wasn't for me. So divorce her. Instead of punishing her like that. Never. She is my investment, and I must get back my returns with interest. On a more serious note, I have some questions to ask you, and this is because of what the doctor told me in Madison at the hospital. What? It seems Beauty has been carrying on with several secret affairs of her own. Look at how I turned out, living in all this wealth, but I have never enjoyed one bit of it. Adam, I am sorry for not giving you a chance. I thought my mother's advice was the best. But I was wrong. I married a monster, but I am taking my life back. I am leaving this weekend. I have secretly packed all my belongings and I managed to save up enough money, which I will use until I am able to stand on my feet. Also, my mother will never hear from me until I am far away. Yes. That is what I will do. What is that you are wearing to bed? I must have you tonight. No, the doctor said we should complete our treatment first. I do not care what the doctor said. And you cannot deny me what I have paid dearly for. Nicholas, not tonight. Please. You do not talk back to me. 
and you cannot deny me what is mine. Nicholas, stop it. Did you just walk out on me? Did you just walk out on me? She is not moving. I killed my wife. Doctor. Where is my daughter? I am sorry, but you came five minutes late. The numerous beatings had taken a toll on her body, plus she was not getting the proper care, she was too weak to fight, and we lost her. Lost her? My only child. I am sorry ma'am. Nicholas has turned himself into the police. Doctor it is my fault. I destroyed my only child for my selfish interest. Jesus? Look at Adam. He made it big. He is rich. I took that chance away from her. Come quickly. This woman is having a heart attack. <coughs> Madison's mom paid the ultimate price for her selfishness. Parents shouldn't meddle unnecessarily into their children's affairs. You cannot choose for them. Instead you should provide guidance and support so that they can live healthy and successful lives. My son, you made it out of this community. Yes mom, and I am taking you and dad with me. I have just one regret though. I wish I had fought harder for medicine. Time will heal your wounds my child. She is in a better place now. <laughs>